Well, this time I'm going to make a Mossasaga rattlesnake walking stick. Mossasagas are a, kind of a pygmy rattlesnake. They're from back east, northeast in the United States. And they have some interesting characteristics that are all their own. So, got a lot of cleaning up to do here. I'll get started on it. I cleaned up the log with the uh, angle grinder and, and a sanding disc and, uh, and then I drew my snake on it. Took quite a little bit of figuring to figure out how to get a snake in there and avoid all these knots. This one has a lot of knots in it and so I had to kind of bunch the snake around here uh, real tight and then come between two knots here with the rattle. Uh, Massasauga rattlesnakes are uh, pretty small snakes so I had a hard time getting it all in there and making it small enough but this is as close as I can get so now I'm going to take my ArborTech mini grinder with an uh, industrial wheel on it and I'm going to cut around the snake. Now that I've uh, cut around my snake, I'm going to make depth cuts about a half an inch apart all the way down the whole length of the log and then I'll chip those out and sand the surface again and then make another series of depth cuts and just keep going until I've gotten the shaft of the walking stick the size I need it. are biting kind of slow today, but I got a couple of them.
Fish. You want some fish? Ow. <laughs> you want another one? I really like the symmetrical wood grain pattern that came through on the head. Sometimes I wished I didn't have to burn scales in and it could just leave that pattern like that because it just looks pretty neat. The weird thing about the Mossasaga rattlesnake is that they have plates on their heads like uh, kind of like a copper head or a cotton mouth does. So regular rattlesnakes just have scales coming right on top of their head. And they have a few little plates in here, but this one has these distinctive shaped plates, just like a copper head does. This one took me about a month to get her done. Uh, Mossasagas are uh, supposed to be a pygmy type rattlesnake and I made this one bigger than life uh, so it would look better on the stick. I think a smaller snake would have just not looked so good so I used some artistic license on this one. Uh, I really like the uh, patterns these snakes have. It's got a bow tie shaped pattern going down the back. On the side it has little round spots, a couple rows of them. 
going down. It's just a fine looking pattern. The heads have a, a pretty intricate, nice pattern too. I had fun doing it. I really like the way the wood grain came out on the lodgepole shaft here. Um, just has a good, good look to it. When you carve something around the center of a log and keep it symmetrical, you usually end up with a pretty nice pattern going around it. And everywhere that there's a cluster of knots, like right in here, you get a nice swirly look to it. Put a two-part hiking tip on this one. I really like those. It's ready to go. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one.